Hi everyone! A uh, really exciting day today because we're going to edit and revise our poem and then we're going to write our poem up in neat on our um, next to our collage So it, and then we're going to stick it in our window so it's really really exciting So in front of me I have got my original poem and I have got my suggestions for myself on what I'm going to improve So my fur, I've got my new heading written in my learning journal so we're not writing it straight away on our collage so that we make sure we don't make any mistakes so my first line was sitting down and relaxing and I've decided that I'm going to keep that one because I really liked it so I'm going to keep sitting down and relaxing now I know from my what I need to improve I need to add a simile in here somewhere and I need to give more thought to the sentence that started with harder letters so like Y was one that was a really hard one for me to think of. So T I wrote talking to my family so I'm going to keep that one because I am having to call my family and FaceTime them rather than actually go and visit them. Uh, a actually time to read books I'm going to keep that one because I am reading so much more actually time to read books I just finished a book that I bought about a year ago and it's been an ongoing joke with my friends I bought it when we went on holiday together and I never even touched it so I've actually just finished it and now I've started a new book and I've already read six chapters so I'm definitely going to keep that one why yesterday feels the same as tomorrow so that was one I rushed a bit, so I'm going to change that one. And I think I'm going to change that to young children being brilliant. Because you are all doing a great job at st of staying at home and doing your learning. And it can't be hard having to, it can't be easy, sorry, having to learn at home, especially when you're not used to learning, you're used to learning with your friends and now you're learning with your adults at home. So it must be not that easy, but you're all doing a great job and all of the teachers are really, really proud of all of the hard work that you're doing. And we're proud that even when you found it, find it hard sometimes, you carry on um, and you have a quick break and then you come back and you get back on with your learning. So well done if you're doing that at home. A, able to get up later, definitely going to keep that one. Able to get up later because I'm really enjoying my extra hour in bed. T uh, was teaching from my bedroom. So I suppose I've actually moved outside because the weather is so nice. Teaching from my bedroom. Which is again something I didn't think I would do. H, I've got my alliteration so I'm going to keep this. Happy, healthy, hearty lunches. Happy, healthy, hearty lunches. I even ate an avocado today. That really is healthy and hearty. O, I've got only for a while and I'm going to keep that one because it's very important that we remember that this is only for a while and it's not going to be forever and hopefully we'll all be back together soon. Uh, M, missing the children, I'm going to keep that one. Missing the children. And the last one, oh I need to fit my simile in. So I think I'm going to change my last one from everyone is thankful to everyone safe as houses. Everyone safe as houses. So now I've got my brand new poem that I've made my um, changes to. So I changed this one here, changed that to be better because I thought I hadn't given enough thought to the hard letters. And I have added in my simile here. So if I check back at my what I can improve list, I can see that I have achieved both of those bullet points that I set out to do. So I have edited and revised my um, my poem really well. And now all I'm going to do just to check I'm 100% happy with it is I'm going to check that I have used all of my features of an acrostic poem. So I can see here that I've got my hidden topic word, or words in my case. I can see that my lines aren't necessarily the same length. Uh, it doesn't always have to rhyme, so my poem doesn't rhyme and that's absolutely fine. I have got, I've used some poetic devices, so I've now used a simile and I've used alliteration, which is fantastic. 
So, I'm really, really proud and pleased with my edited and revised version, and that's exactly what I want you to do today. I want you to edit and revise your um, poem, make those improvements that you said you were going to from your uh, two bubbles that you drew last time, and then now I've done this, I'm going to copy it up on my neat piece of paper and then I'm going to stick it in my window. So I'm going to send you a picture when I've done that. So look on the plan today, you'll see a picture of my finished one and then you'll see a picture of it hopefully in my window. I can't wait, but please make sure you send them all through to me, Mrs Jones and Mrs Millet tomorrow, uh, today because we're so, so excited to see them all. Um, and I just wished I lived closer to you so I could walk past and see them all in your windows. But we will just have to imagine what they look like. But well done um, and have a lovely weekend and I will see you or speak to you all on Monday. Bye.